everyone, it's Captain Kyle. I am here at the Galactic Diversity and Inclusion Con. I'm here with Dominic Keating and Connor Trenier. You may know them from Enterprise, so they've had quite a lot of other things in their career. Yeah. You were on Buffy. That was like your first role, I correct? Was, uh, I think it was uh, about my first part uh, that I got in the, when I came to America. Yeah, God bless Joss Whedon. Um, Don't I'm, say that too loud. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of Buffy history. Uh, I was the first watcher of a vampire that, uh, in an idle moment, you know, got bit by Jeff Cobra, who then came and guested on our show, uh, who was the dastardly vampire for that week. And then uh, they'd never morphed someone into a vampire live on, on the screen before, and I was the first they did it with. So I have that in uh, to take to my grave. <laughs> <laughs> That is very cool. Did you bite him when he came on your show? I did Just, not. No, no, no. no that's, that's a shame. <laughs> I should have done. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> if you had thought of it, if we could turn back time. And Connor, you've been on a, a number of shows, um, loved you in Atlantis. And you not only played Michael the Wraith, but you came back from the web series and you were the, uh, the doctor. Um, yeah. I, I don't remember the doctor's name. I was just looking at it, but you you were in the web series and got to play an entirely different role. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, when uh, I was approached about it, I said, "Well, good God, from the movie to now, he's got to be ninety years old. <clears throat> I'm not going to play him ninety. Sorry, I'm not going <laughs> to be able to follow this chronologically." But uh, yeah, I, I had to speak um, ancient Egyptian, which I thought I could get away with gobbledygook, but no, no, we had to actually speak ancient Egyptian. Which was hell, uh, and but it was fun. I wish they'd had. I don't remember you telling me about this at all. No, it was a. It was a. They made a movie. They were. It was initially it was going to be like five or six twenty-minute episodes. That right. They turned into a, a whole film. Right. And, um, MGM was behind it and the whole thing, and um, they just didn't throw enough money at it to make it really look great. Right. Um, but it was fun. You know, it was my first chance of playing. It was my Teddy Roosevelt. Right. I looked like him in that. You did, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And recently, more recently, you've been on 911. Yeah, I'm uh, Jim the Bomb Guy. Whenever they have a bomb on the show, I show up and defuse it. <laughs> <laughs> and any fun stories from that show? Have you taken any bombs home? Or <laughs> No, I, I leave all bombs there. They do check your clothing. They do a, a full body check to make sure that you haven't taken any bombs home. No, they're, they're um, a, a bunch of lovely people. Um, um, the last episode I did, I did with uh, Angela Bassett, which was nice. We actually ran out of time doing a night shoot, so we had to go back to the studio, and we're in the cop car, and they've got everybody with, you know, two-by-fours and making the car shake, and it was a true TV, <laughs> L.A. TV <laughs> moment. And you're turning the wheel like this? <laughs> I was monitoring the bomb. <clears throat> oh, that, that, that would be She was job. driving. <laughs> so she was going like this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's very cool. Now... I, I do want to talk about your podcast, but before we get to that, I do have to ask for being part of the Star Trek universe. What would you say is the the biggest thing that Star Trek has done to change your life? Oh. I mean, uh, financial freedom initially, straight away, and you know, a house to live in, and um, the just practical stuff like that. You know, um, and it just is the it's the, it's been the job that just keeps on giving i mean it just never stops i mean it's it's extraordinary and then you know as we've testified a few times now the, the just the, the the love and and uh you know the wealth of support that comes from the community and the fandom is just you know mind blowing yeah it never ceases to amaze me that 20 years on that we're at a convention and someone still comes up to my table and asks for an autograph. Mm -hmm. I would have imagined I'd signed everybody's everything a thousand times. It's a, it, it blows my mind. And we've traveled the world with it. Traveled, yeah. No kidding. I've been to every corner of the world on the yeah. back of this show's, uh, yeah. Have you done the cruise? Yes. He does them, yeah. Yeah. I have not been invited yet. I don't know why. Well, they just have your action figure in the corner, and that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's and, cheap. He's cheap. I am. That's exactly right. <laughs> and uh, this house, does it have a guest room? Because I may need to. <laughs> <laughs> it does. So, so tell me about um, the Shuttle Pod podcast. Yeah, the Shuttle Pod show. Um, we've, we've been at it about a year now, I think. And um, it's really gathering steam. Uh, I think we've just hit over 2.2 .2 million views on YouTube. Mm-hmm. 
We, uh, we have something like 45,000 subscribers and uh, we're getting a really starting to build a, a, a good solid group of Patreon members. Please, if you haven't become a Patreon member, I implore you, five bucks a month, it's a cup of coffee in LA, it's two cups of coffee in Tennessee. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, but it's not a lot and we need the support uh, at the moment this is coming out of our pockets and uh, uh, we're really loving doing it it's, uh, it's been a, a new lease on life and we've had about 32 you know, high class guests on from above and below the line um, and next week we've got LeVar Burton coming on and uh, Jimmy Darren got, G got Jimmy that's right that took some phone calls let me tell you <laughs> Uh, but it's really, really, I think if you haven't seen it, uh, you're going to love it. Um, and, uh, we do it differently, too. I, I know do. some of the podcasts, they'll just watch an episode and then they'll talk about the episode. We also intend on doing some, it's a, just some of that today, actually, in, um, in the episode, correct? We yes, we are, and there's a new formatted one going out. It's actually on as we speak. I was looking at it before we sat down with you, Kyle. Um, so... A friend of our producers, uh, who's a very erudite man, uh, opera director, amongst other things, and a, a reviewer. He's about my, about oh, I'm 62 this year, and he's about, I think he's about my age. And somehow he had managed to live a life he had never seen, not a frame of Star Trek anywhere <laughs> in his life. I don't know how you do that, um, but he hadn't. So uh, he was tasked with, uh, he's now seen all the pilots of all the shows, and he's written reviews. And we did the first one a few weeks back now, where we sat down and watched the original series pilot. The, the, the first cage. One. Yeah, the cage. And uh, with a couple of mimosas and a, and a smorgasbord of cheese and salami. And, uh, and we had a good old rap about it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, um, and then sort of circled that around Joe's, his name's Joe Banno, he's a very smart man, and then circled that around his review that he'd given Mark. Uh, that they'd filmed, and um, I just was reading the comments. They like it. Do they go? They like it. They were liking it. <laughs> so uh, uh, well, I'm excited by that. Um, it'll help take some of the pressure off having to get someone in the guest chair every week, and uh, and I think something else to look at. You know, another another sort of you know um, arrow in our quiver. So you've had a number of guests so far, though. Top tier guests. Who has been the guest that has been like not what you expected? You bought them on and you thought, oh, they're going to be, and they were just totally in a different direction. Well, to an extent, all of them have, there, there, there are some, you know, little gold pieces in every one, little pearls that uh, you didn't either know or what an interest of theirs is or something yeah. about their life that got them yeah. to where they are. Yeah. Um, I personally, because I maybe didn't know a great deal about his life, I thought Ira Bear was, was terrific, really wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I really liked Michael Westmore. I, uh, yeah. you know, the makeup artist that created all the alien looks, and his family's the lineage of his family in, in makeup Royalty. goes back to the dawn of Hollywood time. Yeah. I mean, it really does. Yeah, I mean, it's extraordinary. His uncles did, you know, uh, um, makeup for um, uh, Valentino, and uh, I think we did one of them do a uh, Buster Keaton. I mean, it was just when I mean, we were just I was jaw drops yeah. sitting there. Just thinking. He, could, he could have gone on for hours he and could just have regaled us with stories of, yeah. of, you know, look, if you watch an old movie and one of the brothers... I was watching it, Casablanca again the other day and there's Purse Westmore. Yeah. And, uh, At one time, they all, the yeah. five brothers ran the makeup in all of on the, all all the studios. studios. Yeah. Wow. Every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. And he's such a lovely man, Michael. He yeah. really, I can't say enough about him. And uh, he was so interesting and fun to, to talk to and just... Uh, steeped in the, the the history of the town and and uh and the law of hollywood it's uh, and it was funnily enough as we now know it's, it's the 100th anniversary of the hollywood sign this year yeah and uh you know baby's looking good baby's looking good <laughs> yeah i imagine they have to paint it a little bit now and then but you it, know, just a, a little just, it just got it just got a a fresh coat yeah yeah so anyway uh, it's been it's been lovely and getting to know because a lot of time, we, we know a lot of all these actors from the convention circuit, and that's one of the great things about the, the family and the franchise is that because of these conventions that you guys run and put together, that we all get to see each other for mm -hmm. 20 years. And casts stay together. Usually casts don't, you know, you might make a friend. You swear to God you're going to call and, be, and go and have dinner. <laughs> and it just doesn't happen. Right. 
I mean, well, our friendship is, uh, is, is the exception to the rule. And, and now to be getting to, to work again together out of that friendship in this franchise and this family has been really yeah, it's been bloody, a blessing. bloody great, a blessing yeah. indeed. Yeah. Uh, so, but getting to know some of these actors that you know casually at the conventions for 20 years, actually sitting down with them for three hours and having a really in-depth chat, yeah. You know, uh, and making them cry. <laughs> That's got to be it's always the goal. It's I'm, always the goal. I'm the Barbara Walters. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to cry. I said I wasn't going to cry. And uh, it's been a, it's been a joy. We're really loving it. Well, that is excellent, and definitely check out their podcast. Now, do you guys have any other? Um, Projects. I know you did uh, recently some video game voice work. And- Do quite a bit for Blizzard. Uh, God bless them. They 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 hire me every now and again. Uh, and I did a nice voiceover job a little just before the pandemic, I guess it was now, for Tom Hanks in that movie Greyhound. I got to play the British captain of the uh, the um, carrier ship that was you know escorting uh, the the fl- flotilla to try and run down the U-boats in the Second World War. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Initially, when I, went, when I went to record that, I'd given the audition in my, I think it was my regular voice. And anyway, Tom arrived and greeted me. And he was very charming, very lovely. And he said, I was thinking we might go a different way with this, Dominic. What about if we played him as a liver puddlian? <laughs> I looked at him. <clears throat> well, that's an interesting idea, um, Tom. Um, I got to tell you, if if, if, if a liver puddlian was the captain of that ship in the Second World War, it would only have been because he nicked it. <laughs> <laughs> Did he take the note? He took the note. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Liverpool. <laughs> what wallet? I never saw a wallet. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just checking mine right now. <laughs> How about you? Any uh, new products coming out? Uh, nothing at the moment. There's um, a couple of things that uh, Dom and I are um, looking to be involved with. You never really know how oh, that yes. sort of yeah. evolves Sky or thing. Um, devolves or or whatever. So you know, I'm always I'm always ready to talk about something if I've already done it or if I'm right. on set. So um, right. And then we're in, you know, we are in the throes of a writer's strike. So yeah. there's absolutely nothing going on at mm. the moment. So. Um, um, so God bless Trek. Yeah, God bless Trek and the Shuttlepod show. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you have a writer for the Shuttlepod nope. show? You do it yourself? <laughs> nope. No writers. <laughs> no writers. No writers. <laughs> totally improv. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. the way to do it. That's exactly that's the like goddamn truth. That's exactly yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anything you would like to say to your fans out there before we wrap up? Oh well, God bless you. Yeah, yeah. we've uh, had a lovely weekend here at uh, the Gaze in Space. I I went in. <laughs> went the wrong door yesterday and I went up to the security person and I was like I'm looking for the diversion and the <laughs> uh, uh, um, conviction uh, con and they were like what? The what now? Mean, there is something like that down the way and I was like that's it that's the one I'm going to <laughs> well, we've had a lovely time here we have Philly. had a lovely time uh, what a great city by the way yeah I love Philadelphia Philly. never been before it's been 20 years for me and man yeah. I, I'm a big fan of this city yeah me too yeah Awesome. But thank you so much thank for you, to our local uh, populace. Absolutely. But it, it is great, and it is lovely to yeah. talk to you both, and definitely check out their Shuttle Pod show, and of course, you know, more stuff on Fandom Spotlight. We'll see you next time. And as always, have fun, and follow your fandom. Jazz hands. Cheers. <laughs> Hi, this is Bonnie Gordon, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Make sure to like and subscribe before the self-destructs in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just kidding. Have fun and follow your fandom.